Okay, so uh, this video is going to be about replacing the timing chain um, the tensioner uh, on a uh, 2005 Nissan Frontier. Um, basically, I bought this car. Uh, it still runs pretty good, but there's a big, it, it is a really loud whining noise coming out, out of the engine, and uh, uh, it does seem as if the the uh, hydraulic chain tensioner is uh, is not working correctly, or it's not working as it should. So basically, I went to my local Nissan dealer, and they they actually sell a kit for for performing. This. I'm doing this. Um, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with cars. I've done the timing chain on a 2002 Frontier. That's a uh, that's a bell chain. You know, it's not a it's not a uh, metal chain like this one and and this one is a hydraulic chain so but I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's gonna be the same thing hopefully uh, everything will work out okay so alright uh, that's those are the parts and uh, we'll get started on uh, on the label okay so the first thing we're gonna do is release the fuel pressure this is the fuel pressure box right here um, The um, the fuse for the fuel pressure is it's hard to see in there. I'm just gonna pull it out. It's number four. It's the fourth one. I think no, it's the sixth. The sixth one from the the sixth one from the left. All right. So there's the fuse. Okay, then I'm going to start the car to uh, release the fuel pressure. Okay, so uh, three starts should uh, get all the fuel out of the system. Okay, next remove the air filter housing. Okay, there goes the air filter housing. Just make sure nothing is stuck. Alright, everything looks good. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, I've removed the uh, intake manifold that was here. Um, so now I'm going to remove the rocker cover, which is over here. And then after that, I'll take the drive belt and uh, a few other things, and we should be able to get uh, get close to uh, the timing chain. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna remove the rocker cover now. Okay, so I've re I've removed both valve covers, this one and this one. Um, it's probably not necessary to remove both, but I just took it out. This one was leaking oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And um, I've also taken off the fan and the fan shroud. As you can see, this area here is empty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off the alternator, the 
power steering pump and the AC compressor um, you're not disconnecting the lines you're just uh, taking and putting it to the side so you have access to some of the bolts back there okay so everything everything is out now except for the um, timing cover and the crankshaft pulley uh, I've removed the valve cover uh, cases both of them and uh, so now I'm gonna remove the crankshaft pulley uh, to remove the crankshaft pulley uh, you could either remove the starter and uh, place a uh, a little block there to to hold the engine or what what, what, I, what I usually use is uh, I just use a piece of rope like this and I tie it around the pulley and I uh, hold the other end to some part of the suspension I'm, I'm sorry some part of the frame and uh, I try and see if I can loosen it that way it's uh, it's much easier so again um, you you wanna attach this end to to the uh, frame and not to any part of the suspension or or the drivetrain because uh, it's it's pretty strong you, you, you can break something so I'll set that up and uh, we'll see how uh, see how that goes. Okay, so uh, I was finally able to loosen the crankshaft pulley bolt. So, as you can see, the bolt is loose. Uh, Okay, there you go. I'm just gonna put it back just so the crankshaft pulley doesn't fall off. So just out of curiosity, if you wanna know what I did to loosen this bolt, uh the So basically what I did, if you can... Okay, so as you can see here, what I did was uh, I took a piece of the V-belt and uh, I tied it to the uh, the tie down with uh, with some bowstring uh, just just in, a, in three different places and I wrapped it around the uh, crankshaft pulley and that, that gave me a good tight uh, fit because the the tie down just by itself was uh, the pulley was just was just slipping around so uh, this uh, this kind of worked pretty well actually it came off uh, very easy okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take off the crankshaft pulley I'll take off the um, timing case and then uh, we should be able to finally uh, get to what we're doing okay